went to a liner now, so as soon as the liner goes off, you'll be on. Praise God. Okay, DJ Brenda, thank you so much. You're welcome, and have a great show. I love when you say that. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in to Exciting Life Radio Show. And I am your host, Dr. Darlene Bell. Tag a neighbor. Tag a friend. <laughs> Come on now, I want to make sure to get your notebooks, your pencils out, get ready for encouragement. Yay! It is now time for the Exciting Life Radio Broadcast with your hosts, Darlene and Sarah, and your special guest host, Minister Derek, Mr. Dress Up Taylor, right here on AM 1440. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to another edition of Exciting Life Radio Show with yours truly as the host right now. It's brought to you from Exciting Life Christian Center where yours truly are the pastors, myself, Dr. Darlene Bell, Dr. Pastor Darlene Bell, along with my beautiful sister, Dr. Pastor Sarah Riddle Taylor. And listen, my friend, this is going to be a 15 minutes of power, 15 minutes of encouragement. It's going to be an infusion of encouragement. Don't go anywhere. Glory to God. Tag a neighbor, tag a friend. And if you are listening, you may be in your car. Pull over for a few minutes if you can. But if not, keep your eyes on the road. This is, uh, once again, Exciting Life Radio Show brought to you live on WMK. WMKM 1440 AM. And you know, I have um, been a part of WMKM for years. And I, you've often heard me say it is the number one station in the nation. Amen. Serving dishes and dishes of inspiration for years and years and years. Amen. Shout out to our wonderful DJ, DJ Brenda. Thank you. Amen. Let me give a couple of announcements and then I have a really good encouraging word. And of course, as I see you, we're also um, going live on Facebook. Amen. So, you know, you can listen to it now or later, but as I see your name, I will definitely give you a shout out. Amen. And your comments as well. But what's so nice about the social media is that if you don't get it now, you can push rewind and get it later. Amen. But right now we are live on the hot glorious airwaves of WMKM, 1440 AM. And you can also um, get for, uh, WMKM, 1440 on your smartphone or your computer. Just simply go to gospel1440.com. God bless you, Samuel Emerson, for stopping by on today. Amen. And as I say, those that want to give comments in the chat box, I will share them. Feel free. Amen. I would like to invite you to continue to watch Darlene and Sarah. Sarah's Gospel Spectacular TV show. Yes, which airs every Sunday at, if you're in Detroit, 6.30 p.m. Channel 20. If you're in East Oakland or Macomb Counties, 8 o'clock a.m. Channel 90. And if you don't have Comcast, no worries. You can um, watch our show on Bell Global Network. Many of our shows are on there. You said Bell Global Network? Yes, go to bgntvgospel.com. And that is my second oldest son and his wife's network. And, you know, speaking of that, if you are maybe a minister an evangelist, or you just got something good to share, you want to just take it to another dimension and say, I want to be on TV. If you're on Facebook, go to Anton Choir Boy Bell page. Tell him that his mother and his auntie sent you. You'll get an extra discount. But you pray about it. Amen. Amen. But, you know, we live in such a wonderful time. We can get the word out. Spread the gospel of good news. And that's what I have. Breaking good news 
on today. And guess what the good news is? Jesus loves you. Guess what the good news is? That God is a very present help. Amen. You know, some people you call out, help, child, they'll put the phone on do not disturb or they'll block the call. But guess what? Jesus Christ will never block your call. He will never send you to the voicemail. You'll never hear, hi, you have reached heaven. I'm a little busy right now. At the sound of the tone, leave a message. And I promise I or somebody else will call you back at our own convenience. No, Jesus, ooh, hallelujah, is on the main line. He is online, my friend. Call him up. And he will answer your prayer. He will strengthen you. Yes, my friend, he, he you're not in this alone. You know, that's what the devil or life will tell you. Oh, you and you're all by yourself. No, you are not. So let's just go to a couple of scriptures. But my friend, there's a part that you have to play. Hello, amen. You know, and, and constantly seek God. The Bible says when you draw nigh to him, he's going to draw nigh to you. And you may say, well, Pastor Darling, what about grace and mercy? Yes, grace is available to you right now. Mercy is available to you right now. But you got to receive it. If God is saying, here, my daughter, here, my son, here's some grace, here's some mercy. But you all over the place. Oh, no, I don't. Where's the mercy? The grace It's here. It's in Jesus. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Not plans to do you evil. You know, you think God is every day. Oh, I'm, I'm going to see I can really get her. I'm going to see I can really get him. No. Plans of Thoughts of good toward you to give you an expected ear. You've got to realize you were created on purpose for a purpose. So listen, my friend, be encouraged on the day. Let's look at um, Psalm, and it is 46. Amen. Psalm 30, 46. Let's read that one. Amen. You know, and then I have another scripture for you. But this simply says that God is our refuge and strength. You cannot operate in this life on your own strength. Hello. I can do all things through Christ. That's Philippians 4.13, who strengthens me. Amen. Everything is through Jesus Christ. If you try to do everything on your own strength, guess what? You're going to be in for a big surprise. So your strength is available. But let's get back to here. Our God is our refuge. Write this down. Psalm 46. God is our refuge. You know, many times people, especially in lieu of everything that's going on, people say, Pastor Darlene, I just need some extra help. I need some extra strength. You've come to the right place. Refuge is a place of protection. It's a place of comfort. Oh, I feel his presence here right now. And we have to sometimes, you know, look, put the, the, the too busy sign in our lives. Put it on a pause. Sometimes God will say pause, chill, relax. Glory to God. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. So sometimes you're going to really need them in life. Yes, we really need them all the time. But there are certain times in your life where you may need them a little bit more than other times. But this is a very present. What does present mean? You know, I'm a former school teacher. Yay, happily retired. But I remember I, I used to love to teach English. I taught, of course, middle school for a little bit. English, but I used to love to begin to teach the foundation to our little second and third grade graders. You know, there are three tenses in life. There's your present, where we are right here and right now. And then there's the past, and then there's the future. Amen. But this says God is, that's present, not was, well, he was too, or he shall be. He is a very present. But you've got to invite him in, my friend. It's not just automatic, well, I'm going to come in and, and, and I'm going uh, to take over his or her life. No. The Bible says, behold, <laughs> I stand at the door and I what? I knock. If any man will 
open up. Then I will come in. I will sup with him and sup with her. And I tell you, having fellowship with the Lord Jesus, and you keep going from faith to faith and from glory to glory, it's an awesome life. So he says, therefore, this is Psalm 46 and 2, therefore will not we fear. And see, that's what's really, is so much fear out here. And in and, and the natural, justly so. You know, and the news only are doing what they are called to do. They're not just trying to purposely, you know, make you afraid. No, they're doing, that's their call, is to report what's going on in the natural. But listen, ooh, it's your job as a child of God, okay, to stay in God's word. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given us what? Power, love, and a sound mind. You really need that now because if you start entertaining too much of what's going on, you can get out of balance. Or too much of, oh, Lord, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. You will get out of balance. But if you focus and magnify, okay, yes, okay, this is a challenge. But God is bigger. He's greater than any challenge. And Psalm 46 says he's a refuge. He will say, come on in, baby. I got you. He's our strength. His muscles become your muscles, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar, circumstance can roar. What you going to do, baby? You better roar back and say, you know what? Right here, God is my very present help. God is my strength. God is my fortune. He's above all. He's not giving me the spirit of fear, but I have power, love, and a sound mind. And they are all these things. Romans 8.37 says, I am more than a conqueror. You have to constantly feed your faith. Don't feed your fear. Ooh, this is a Thank you, Jesus, to you. It's a good word. Glory to God. It says, though the waters there of roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake the swelling thereof. Yes, things can come in your life that can really shake you. But what you're going to do, just sit there like a boxer in a ring. Imagine a boxer in a ring. And, and, and let me just make sure I'm keeping up. Ooh, wait. And the opponent is there. And, and, you know, this game been hyped up. Amen. Glory to God. You know, you got your boxing gloves on. And you got whatever else you have on. The ring. And ding, 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 ding. The referee says, and here's the fight. You think both fighters just going to sit there? No. They're going to try to knock. Knock each other out. Do you know in life? We're we're in a boxing ring, but it's a fixed fight. The battle is already won. That's why David, not David, Paul, or David's giving a whole bunch of good scriptures. Paul says, fight the good fight of faith. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Can you be strong if you're sitting there watching dramas and just watching a bunch of junk all day. No, you, you, you're strong in the Lord because you get in his word. You believe him. You quote his word. Amen. Get faith filled scriptures. Amen. And let me see. Let me read one more. Psalm 46. There's a river. The streams whereof shall make glad the cities of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the most high god is in the midst of her she shall not be moved god shall help her and that right early god is a helper my friend god will keep you god will strengthen you i got one more scripture and then we're gonna pray the prayer of salvation i tell you hallelujah uh first corinthians 15 58 therefore my beloved brethren and that's sisters too be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Not abounding in just in, in everything. And, and it's so easy because Proverbs chapter 3 says, the fifth verse says, Lean not to your own understanding. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In verse 6 says, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. Somebody said, well, I heard that before, but you got to activate the word. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So back to 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know, your labor is not in vain. Don't you know that God sees everything that you do? He sees everything that you do for him. He sees all, your, your heart, your efforts, your labor is not in vain. Glory to God. And my friend, if you don't know this Lord, this Lord and Savior, uh, immovable means, nope, I'm standing firm with the Lord. I'm not going to be moved because my labor's not in vain. Look, labor, payday is coming. Amen. Right now, right here. So pray this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I want to get to know you. I believe you died on the cross. They put you in a grave, but you're no longer there. You have arisen. You're alive. Lord Jesus, come in my heart. Come in my life. Save me. Forgive me of all my sins, Lord. I accept you this day, come on, as my Lord, my Savior, and my Master. And according to your word, I'm right now born again. Lord, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. I need your help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. This day is a new day in Jesus' precious name. Well, listen, my friend, once again, this has been Pastor Darlene in a 15 minutes of encouragement for a Sign Life Christian Center radio station. See you next week. God bless everybody. To another broadcast of Exciting Life with your host, Darlene and Sarah. And Minister Derek, Mr. Jeff Taylor. Okay, Reverend Darlene. Thank you, DJ Brenda. God bless you now. <laughs> You're so welcome. And you have a blessed week, and I'll talk to you next week. Yes, thank you so much. And you have a blessed week as well. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, it's such a blessing when God brings sweet people into your life. Amen. And DJ Brenda, she just has such a sweet spirit. So one more time, kudos to her. Shout out. Listen, this 15 minutes of encouragement on Exciting Life radio show whoo, was well, well spent. Listen, my friend, be encouraged. Know that your labor is not in vain. And I want to tell you this. God sees your heart. God's got your back. God is for you. So who can be against you? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And let me tell you, a better day. Look at your neighbor. Even if you don't have anybody by you, say self. <laughs> Pass a darling bell. A better day is coming. But if you around somebody, you may be listening together, say, neighbor, a better day is coming. You know, you may be experiencing a little, uh, a little, you know, bit of bumpiness in the road, maybe a few little orange barrels. That's just, God is just going to redirect your path. Come on now. He's going to redirect your path. And I'm telling you, everything is going to be all right. Glory to God. I have a couple more announcements that I want to make. And then, oh, I'm excited about tonight. You say tonight. Yes. 930. Come on, put it down. Set your clocks. Set your timers. 930 tonight. Eastern Standard Time. 9.30 p.m., amen, I want you to join me, Pastor Darlene Bell, in a five-minute praise break. Now, sometimes they may last five minutes, but we're not going to put a leash on the Lord, amen. <laughs> Listen, oh, and you say, what is a praise break? It's just like if you take a coffee break or a hot tea break or a hot cocoa break, amen, uh, whatever it is, that maybe a soda drink or lunch break, it's just a time you're setting aside to praise God. Start thinking about 
What is he doing for you? What has he done? Don't focus on negative things. That's what the enemy would make you, you know, have a pity party. Baby, bring your legs from up under the pity party. It is time to come to the praise party. Woo-hoo-hoo. Tonight, 930, bring your shouting shoes. And I tell you, it will be Pastor. Well, let me get the order right. The Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Darlene Bell and the VIPs. You said VIP. Yeah, very intense praisers. Child just praising and thanking God. Who, who is God to you? What is he to you? Well, what is he to Pastor Darlene? Let me let me give you 10 things. Woo 10 things. Number one, he is my counselor. I can talk to him about everything. Is that confirmed in the word? Yes, he's the mighty God. He's mighty God. Counselor. Amen. You can talk to the Lord about anything and everything. But the thing about it, God will have answers. He is my strength. He is my healer. He is my joy. Whoa. He is my way maker. Woo he is he, how about my everything. And I thank him. I thank him for peace. The Bible says, I will keep him. That's Isaiah 26 and 3. I thank him for peace. I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. So get your mind off of anything that's going to drag you out of the peace that God has given to you. He's my, I'm on number seven. He's my peace. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, wait. He is my water. He's my natural water. Lord, thank you. I don't have to like some countries, people. You know, have to walk for miles just to get some water. Lord, I thank you. I have running water. Hallelujah. Hot water. Lord, we have hot water to shower, to bathe with, water to drink, water to cook with. Lord, thank you for uh, power, not sitting in the dark, lights, electricity. Lord, thank you for clothes. I know that's already number 10. Thank you, Lord, a wonderful, beautiful place to live. Glory to God. Furniture. Hallelujah. Comforts to put my food in. Pots and pans to cook my food. Amen. And the list goes on. A washer, dryer, appliances. And that's all of us. Amen. Um, re refrigerator, microwave. You know, some of us have automatic dishwashers. It's, it's a blessing. And those are just natural amenities. Amen. Families. Well, thank you for my children, my grandchildren, my church family. Amen. It's like my Christian Center. Lord, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Lord, I thank you that you have always, 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 always made a way out of nowhere. And thank you, Lord, even when I have my little coffee breaks. With flavored cream. Yummy, yum. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, for being a vessel to spread your word. Thank you, Lord, for this platform right here. I thank you. And, Lord, I could go on and on and on and on. And I would, I would willingly go on and on and on of your goodness, of your grace, Lord. Hallelujah. You've never left me. You've always kept me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And my good days, Lord, if we have a scale, amen, if we have a scale, the good days outweigh the so-called challenging days. Woo-wee. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Lord, I just thank you. Thank you, Lord, for everybody that's listening now. Oh, come back and listen. Lord, bless them. In Jesus' name. Well, listen, my friend, I have another announcement. Oh, on Thursdays, 3 o'clock, I am with London Washington on her page, Facebook Live, on a show that's called At the Table of Prayer. Us, uh, London Washington, and, you know, she's the ADI uh, ooh, CEO. She has her own live streaming radio uh, shows now <laughs> on licmc.net. Amen. But tomorrow, which is Thursday, hallelujah, I will be on her show at the table of prayer along with Dr. Octavia, Dr. Milford, and we just have a good, 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 good time in the Lord. Oh, 
Woo! Praising God and just serving, serving some good word of God. And then on second Thursdays, mark this down, 730, the second Thursdays, I um, have a new show that's called Moments of Inspiration with Pastor Darlene Bell on London's radio streaming station. So thank you. I look forward to that. And it's always going to have a moment of inspiration. So God bless everybody. And I believe that's it. Oh, Sundays, church flow, 1 o'clock p.m. 1 o'clock. That's our church flow, Exciting Life Christian Center church flow. And, and as always, if you want to donate, uh, if you look at the, the, the top of this thread, you can donate to Exciting Life Christian Center or Darlene and Sarah Ministries, simply by dollar sign, Pastor Darlene Bell. Amen. You know, the ministries are just all flowing, our outreach, and we're working on getting our new facility. <laughs> and we'll be able to do a lot of things with the community, get our children's choir back, and so much we, we're going to do for the Lord. You know, because we are also a media ministry. We'll be able to, you know, have uh, more live TV productions. So we are excited. And we thank you for your help. We thank you for everybody. You have mwah, you've been donating and giving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank you so much. But dollar sign, Pastor Darlene Bell. All lowercase letters. Whoo, this has been such a good show. Such a good you know, inspiration. Because when I teach the word, guess, guess who's the first partaker? Hello, I am. <laughs> Ooh -wee. So keep your joy tank full. And if you look, you need a little feeling, come on tonight. Bring your shouting shoes. Woo. Hallelujah. Because it's a joy station and it's a peace station. And we say, Lord, fill it up. Premium, please. <laughs> God bless everybody. I'll be back tonight, 9.30 p.m. I love you, but you already know God loves you more. And know the best is yet 